Hi everybody, this is Randy Thompson. I'm coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. And today we're going to focus on the Robert Dover exercise of using the half halt through the rider's body and the breath. Now we've been doing half halts, but now we're going to add the breath as he was doing it and see how it works with Trudy. All right, Trudy, so for your half halt, what you're going to do is feel your belly come in. Take a deep breath. Feel your chest come up. Now bring it back so your shoulder blades come together. And this is going to be a long breath. And that's it. And then bring your seat forward. So that's the complete half halt with the upper body that we're going to do at the same time. She'll close her thighs and just gently hug with her legs. All right, let's go through it one more time. Breathe in through your belly. Lift your chest. Bring your shoulder blades back together. Bring your seat forward and hold with your thighs lightly. Good, good. Yes, now you feel it. Now you're... The, key, the trick will be to do it in every upward, downward, and every time she loses her connection. But that's what we're going to focus on today because how long has it been since you've ridden? Probably about, really what I can call riding, about six weeks with yeah. this miserable winter. It's been a bad winter, so you're coming back, and we're just going to focus on the basics. All right, so as you get ready to walk, think of that half halt because we're going to reestablish all the basics. That's right, and ask her to walk at the same time. Good. And what we're going to do first is we're going to feel the feeling of this half halt with your walk halt transitions. And what you're going to notice is how often you might slip out of the position. Because you rode for years, hunt seat, your tendency will be to go a little bit forward with your, you know, to bring your rear end a little bit behind you and stuff. Good. Prepare for a walk with a half halt. Just hold your reins so she can feel your seat. What this will do is get her listening more to your seat and legs. Take your time. How many steps does it take for a horse to hear a transition? Oh, in this case, about 12. Good, because it's not, it takes 10 steps for it to get from their brain, from you to their brain, to their actually doing it. So now start counting. Think like when you stepped into that one, did you do a half halt first to signal her? Good, good. This is what most riders do. Now think, ten was that 10 steps? No, it was less. Good, so you want to think it's got to be 10 steps or you're not giving her enough time to prepare. You'll notice in the dressage ring, the letters are separated by, you know, from E, there's like uh, 10 steps. Right. That's how much time it takes for a horse to understand a transition. So take your time, 10 steps to a halt. Take your time, slow down the steps first. Good, good. Do you feel how stable your position feels? Yeah. Okay, now the trick is because most people don't use their half halt feeling to signal their horse to walk. So now think of the half halt, breathe in, feel it all the way through your body, bring your seat bone forward as you ask her to walk with your calf. Good, praise her. Good. I tried it with just my thigh, but you're right, I have to add the calf. Yes, add the calf, and it's just a slight hugging just until, she, just so she feels it. As soon as you feel her respond to your aids, you stop using them. Like if you feel they're starting to slow down, soften. Good, because that's how the aids work. We let them go when the horse responds. Good, good. And walk again. It's all right. Most people, thank you for doing that because most people aren't preparing their horses to walk on. They're leaning forward and squeezing with their lower legs. That's right, and that's okay, but you're asking her to stay more connected now. So to keep a horse more connected, that was very nice. Did you feel how solid that was? Yeah, I felt like she was up. Good. Now count to 10 before you do a half halt so you can prepare yourself. That's it. Just think about it. Tell, think when does she feel you? Do you feel her? Re you can feel that she's, she's hearing you, right? She's hearing me. Good. And then she walks off. Yeah. So the only thing you're doing now is you're playing the waiting game. You're saying, okay, I'm going to do a half halt and see if she's listening to me before I ask her for the walk. Pick a different spot this time. In fact, this time when you come around, we're going to start doing spirals because you'll notice like right there where she fell apart. Did you feel that? Yeah. That's where you're going to add your half halt. Good. So pick a different spot for your halt. Tell me when she loses her connection. Ooh, there a little bit. Good. That's where you do a half halt. Good. And I don't have to come all the way to halt. No, you don't have to come all the way to the halt. You just want her to pick up her back. You'll know she's half halting when she picks up her back underneath of you more. Tell me when she drops you. Uh, right? A little bit now. That's right. So you want to feel, because you know she does it in the same place like most horses all the time. You want to think, start connecting her in a half halt before she falls apart, because she's going to fall apart right here, right? So shorten your reins, get her to step up into the connection. 
So that there, feel her picking her back yeah. up? Now I'll feel Good. Her Good. Now she's going to drop it right about here because this is where she normally drops it, right? right? Good. So get her to step up with a half halt. Praise her. Good. Do you feel her carrying you any different? Yeah. Very nice, Trudy. Good. And you can change directions. Well, now what happened when you changed directions? Did she stay connected? No. So what do you need to do? That's right. It's just going to be like every, you just keep, we're really isolating the half halts because we wanted to go back and focus on basics that are safe to do to bring her back, right? Yeah. Okay. Is she connected? No. Get her to step up into your half halt. Praise her a lot. Okay. Now we're going to start act. That's it. Good, good, good. Take your time. Take your time. Soften her jaw with the inside rein and leg. Soften her pole with your outside rein and leg. That's it. Remember to use your, do you remember when to use your inside leg and rein? It's when the inside hind is off the ground. So here's when you're going to use your inside aids. It would be now, now, now. What do you feel when I'm saying now, now, now? Kind of a rocking Good. Can you feel which inside, when her inside hind leg is leaving the ground? Like, can you feel the, what, does her shoulder come back to your thigh when you do it? What happens right now? Now on the left side, now, inside, now, now. It's more the outside shoulder comes back when you say now. Okay, so what do you feel happening on the inside? Right now, now. The front, the foreleg going forward. Okay, you can feel the foreleg going forward. Can you feel her rib cage going in? Now, yeah. now. That's when you're going to time your aids with your leg and rein together. Good. Plus, you're going to add your half halt now. So think, if you're using the inside rein or leg or the outside rein and leg, you want to start feeling when her rib cage goes in is when her inside hind leg or the outside is off the ground. That's it. Take your time. Yes. Do you feel how she's connecting with you? Yeah. Now, where is she loose in her jaw? She loose. Good. So that's the first step. Of... Good. The little nudge. You know, she hasn't done this for a while. So when you feel the little nudge, like there, she's trying to, not trying, but she's disconnecting. Do you feel it? Yeah. All right. So soften her jaw with the inside rein and leg. Now. 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 Then use your outside rein and leg to get her to release in her pole so she gets more of a rainbow. That would be now. Now. When the outside hind is off the ground. Now. Good. Do you feel it's starting to pick you up a little different? Yeah. Praise her. So your goal will be to get her to stay in that balance. You can keep changing direction. She's going to lose it like every six steps, by the way, which she should be doing right now. And we're not focusing as much on your position right now as we are on what you're doing to keep her connected. Take your time. Remember to use your rein at the same time you're using. Yes, you felt her drop you. Feel it? Yeah. That's when you need to soften her jaw with your inside rein and leg. Then check the outside rein and leg. See if she's soft in her jaw so she gives you her paw. Then she'll start giving you the neck so you have a rainbow so you can start riding her shoulders more. The more you ride the shoulders, the more you'll be using your thigh to guide them. Point your belly button in the direction you'd like her shoulders to go and you'll feel your thighs naturally go on her side. Feel it? Yeah. So now you're going to think the thighs is just keeping your thigh against. It's not a tight squeeze. It's just basically pointing your belly button in the direction you want her to go. What does that make you do with your seat? My seat's pretty busy right now. Good, good. I mean, I feel like it's staying and not flipping back so much. It's a little bit tight. Yes, it's a big shift because now you're really thinking about that half halt, aren't you? Yeah. Good. So soften her on the inside rein and leg. Check to see that she's soft. Shorten her outside rein and leg. And we're going to get her to step up more so she picks you up even more. You're going to slow down the front end. That's it. Take your time because she hasn't been ridden for a while. Six weeks is a long time. She's going to say she can't do it. But feel her pick you up different? Yeah. Praise her. That's it. Your goal will be to get her to carry you like you're feeling. That's it. Do you feel anything different in this walk? It feels better, more like she's carrying. That's right, and she won't know how to stay there at first, so right away go back to your steps to connection. Soften her jaw, soften her on the inside with your inside rein and leg now, when the inside hind is off the ground, now. And then soften her on the outside rein and leg now, now. Shorten your outside rein so she's thicker in the base of her neck. That'll get her to pick up your back. That's it. Now you can get her to step into that. 
Get her to step up. Yep. You're going to use, that's it. Good, good. You feel her carrying you different? Yeah. Very nice. Now she's only going to be able to hold it like three or four steps. Take your time. Yeah. The leaning, that's when she's disconnecting. That's when she's disconnecting. Good. Okay, let's uh, halt for a minute. I want you to tell me what you're feeling right now. Because that, uh, that was pretty big. What were you um, feeling? We started with the half halt. What did that make you do? The half halt made me use my core more and stay in position, not let that seat slip backwards. Good, good. And to use my seat more than just going to, you know, going to your hands. That's right. And you'll see when you look at the video, it doesn't look like you're pushing with your seat. You're just establishing no, it. No, but I feel like I'm pressing more in solid. with each. each um, and then what we did was we started no. connecting in her by using the steps to connection, making sure she was soft. Yeah. All right, let's give her a walk break. Good okay. girls. Maybe. Okay.